If you missed part one of this little mini-series about my personal YouTube rules, you can click right there to watch it. Isn't that magical? It's like you can reach inside of this video and watch a different video. No? Okay. These ones are gonna be a little bit more quickfire, because yesterday I only managed to get through three. Whereas today I have five, possibly six, I don't know, I keep on thinking of new ones, so let's go! Number four! I don't like to overuse annotations. In fact, if I can avoid it, I try not to use them at all. A lot of these rules just come off the back of me being the kind of person who watches a lot of YouTube videos. And I personally find that if I'm being inundated with little colourful boxes everywhere, it's just really annoying. I don't like being distracted by that kind of stuff, and I wouldn't want to distract you with that stuff either, because, you know, I've made a thing that I'm proud of that I want to share with you, and I'd like you to watch that thing instead of all of the things around here. Numero 5 oh, I try to make sure that the thumbnail and the title of a video are going to be a good representation of what that video is actually going to be. My preference is not to do what I can to get people to click on a video that I've made, it's to get people to actually watch a video that I've made. And so I find it kind of illogical when I click on a video thinking that it's one thing and then it turns out to be something else, because what happens at that point? I just don't watch the video, do I? If your primary goal on YouTube is just to get as many hits as you possibly can, then sure, that is the way to do that. It will probably work. But I just prefer the idea of having actual real people watching my content as opposed to just having the biggest number possible. Sex! That's six in German, by the way, not the other thing. If I'm offered any kind of business opportunity, then I'm only going to take it if it's actually going to make my videos better. I feel very fortunate that I'm in a position where I have people watching me here on the internet, and with that I wouldn't ever want to try and take advantage of your attention by making a bunch of money trying to sell you something that you probably don't want. The kind of opportunities that I try to take, if I'm fortunate enough to get any, are A, the ones that result in me being able to make a video that I would not be able to make otherwise, and B, the ones that offer me cool experiences as opposed to money. I feel like if someone's going to offer me money to talk about a thing, then that's just going to add the wrong kind of bias to my opinion of that thing. My preference is just to give you the most honest and real opinions that I can about things that I do or don't like, and money just doesn't fit well with that idea. Number seven! This rule is actually one that I've deliberately saved till last because as a result of doing this midlife crisis YouTube project thingy, my opinions of it are sort of shifting a little bit. The rule that I wrote down is to never ever have any kind of schedule ever, but I think a better way to put that rule is to say only have a schedule if that schedule is actually going to help the videos that you're making as opposed to hinder it. One of the things that the company YouTube themselves suggests to people making videos is to have a strict schedule and upload, you know, one video every Friday and one video every Monday or whatever. But personally, I've always found that in the past if I've tried to stick to any kind of schedule then it just piles on the pressure and if anything just makes me feel less creative. But I do now think that having the right kind of schedule, for example, can also help to encourage creativity as well. I guess if you're going to have a schedule, make sure you're doing it for your own benefit as opposed to the assumed benefit of getting more hits or whatever. When it comes to all of these rules, the main thing about them really is that they are all specifically tailored for me. So I wouldn't want anyone to just automatically take all of these things and just say, that's the way I'm going to do it too, because different things work for different people. So if you don't agree with anything that I've said in these videos, then just do the opposite, because if that is what feels right for you, then it is also probably what will work for you. The end. Uh, you've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool like, which makes you like cool. That was too much tea in one go.